up folks my name is Joe Patterson thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel headed to town on an errand and a lot on my heart about the Lord Jesus and about the way of God and about the battle hmm, the battle that belongs to the Lord and I think many times what happens is I believe that people hear the phrase the battle belongs to the Lord I've said it so many times myself and, and thought it and all that stuff. But I pray that we can gather some understanding. The Holy Spirit come and, and give us understanding on this matter. The battle belongs to the Lord. Now let me quote some scripture. That is a scripture I just quoted. Many of you quoted it in your life. Now, if you don't mind, I'll quote a scripture. Uh, another scripture out of the, uh, the Holy Word, which I believe I find in the New Testament. I'm sure it's probably in the old one as well. <clears throat> The kingdom of God advances forceful, and forceful violent men lay hold of it. <laughs> now you can look that up, you can Google it. I believe the, the New International Version quotes it maybe like this, the kingdom of God advances forcefully and violent men lay hold of it. I think the King James quotes it a little differently, uh, but the, the understanding is the same. So here's something that is not, uh, I'll speak from my own experience, taught at most all churches. And what they'll say is, you're going through a bad time, uh, all these bad things that come upon you, uh, it's a test, and you just need to hold your faith and, and just stand strong. And I don't know that that's elaborated on or expounded upon maybe the way it ought to be. But what they don't really teach you is that what is the violence to lay hold of a kingdom that is advancing forcefully. When you confront darkness, when you confront your own evil, <clears throat> Your own. I'll give you some examples. My own evil. Mine, Joe Patterson. Struggles with frustration. Aggravation. Uh, sometimes uh, with meanness. Uh, uh, things that are with the opposite of love. Okay, love is gentle and kind and patient and, and persevering, long-suffering. All those things. This, what I struggle with are things that are opposite of that. So... There's a war going on within me. I know because God has written on my heart the things that please Him, the things that are right. I'm in the Word of the Lord often. And by the Holy Spirit I come to, to recognize right and wrong when I read the Holy Word. God teaches me right and wrong. So if you aren't at war with your own darkness. So I war against these things. I war against the flesh. This is the man becoming violent inside. What is the violence? If you can hear this, and I pray that with all my heart that you can. When you go to your prayer closet, wherever that is, maybe for some of you it's a drive in the car, maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a ride on your bicycle, motorcycle, uh, for me, it's a walk on a country road in the middle of the night. When you war, you're going to war. <laughs> oh, baby. <clears throat> you're going to war. You're going to push through <sighs> deception. You're going to push through stubbornness wicked, evil, stubborn man. You're going to push through complacency. You're going to fight. You're going into battle. It's violent to pray to God. It's violent to the kingdom of darkness when you go to the altar of God in your heart and you open the heavens and you open the heavens with softness with brokenness and contriteness, you open up the heavens to fight against evil. 
crying out to your God, your Father, Abba. Help me, Yeshua. Help me live godly and holy. Help me mature in love and become a man of God. Before I leave this world, Lord, let my heart be overflowing with joy and thanksgiving of my God. It's war. War. So, people have not been trained to war. They have been lulled to sleep with wickedness, wicked evil speech, blasphemous talk, heresiacal teaching and preaching that doesn't preach the true gospel. Therefore, they never war. They never know what it means to lay hold of a kingdom that advances forcefully. They never understand the way to lay hold of it. They think they go forward and say a prayer and they're listed now in, on the great roll above in heaven. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Why? Because I prayed. I prayed the prayer. God says He won't refuse me. I believe in His Son and all that stuff. And, and all of those scriptures you can find, but they are, it's not the under, they're not correctly dividing the Word. They're not teaching you that there's a war, that you are being ripped out of a kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. And you must lay hold of it violently. You must insist... You must get up and go pray when you don't feel like it, when you don't want to. You walk in the dark on the road like me and you must overcome fear to do it. It's dark, it's pitch dark, and there's all kinds of things in the dark, right? Haunts and, and noises and sounds and, and all kinds of imaginations, and you have to overcome that if that's your prayer closet. You have to overcome busyness of the day, busyness of the evening. Somebody calls and wants you to come over for dinner, but you were going to go spend time with God, and now you're at war again. What do I do? Well, I can always pray later, and, and I can, well, maybe tomorrow I can pray. And you put it off. But violence says, this is it. I have to treat this like it's my last moment. And you violently lay hold of it and say, no, nothing is coming between me and my Father in heaven. Nothing is coming between me and my Lord Jesus. Nothing. I refuse to give in to the God of this world and the lulling wicked demon that would come to me and try to convince me I'm too tired, you're grumpy, you got in a fight with your husband or wife or children and, and cussed and cursed and said bad things and now, you, now you're not worthy of prayer and all those things, all of this is warfare. And you must learn to overcome it in the name of the Lord Jesus. You must learn to believe when everything about you wants to not believe. You must learn to not give up when everything about you wants to give up. <sighs> Spiritual warfare. War room. Hmm. Anyway, recently I watched a video message from a man. I don't even know his name. But I know with all my heart that the, the message was anointed. And it was a message uh, on Jezebel, the wicked queen, Jezebel. And if you don't know the story, it's in the Kings. You can go to 1 Kings, I believe, somewhere 19. I can't remember where the story of Elijah and Jezebel and Ahab and all of that. And you can read it. But then Jesus refers to the spirit of Jezebel again in Revelation. And the churches that are still under that spirit and they put up with the spirit of Jezebel. Anyway, I watched this uh, message. Since I watched it, the warfare has increased greatly. Uh, temptations to be frustrated and argue and be mad over nothing and all that stuff has shown up greatly. And most people would say, well, don't watch the video, man. But what you don't understand is it's awakening you. You're not dwelling in ignorance anymore. You're not, you're not, ignorance isn't bliss. You're awake, you're awakened to a problem and you know its name now. And you begin to call it out by name and you begin to come against it. And it wants to fight 
to hold on a stronghold. Stronghold. The strong man must be overcome so the house can be robbed, taken away from what is holding you captive. Anyway, these are the pure truths. For those of you that can believe it, know that the battle is fierce. Know that the battle belongs to the Lord. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. And know that when you submit to God, you're submitting to His rulership. You're submitting to His will. You're submitting to learn His ways and what please Him and perform that. You're submitting to living a righteous, godly, holy life that God, our Lord Jesus, died and rose to life so that we could do it. We can actually take part of His divine nature. Read it. 2 Peter chapter 1. Take part of the divine nature of Christ that we can walk as He did. When the Holy Spirit says anyone who claims to love Christ must walk as He did, He is not a liar. You can do it. I pray that you'll receive this in the name of the Lord Jesus. The battle belongs to the Lord. And if you belong to the Lord, then the battle belongs to you. You are the one who is called to endure to the end. Jesus already did it. He already endured to the end. He already overcome. Now he's told us to do the same thing. Read it, folks. If you're not receiving a gospel like this, you've received a lie. The true gospel is that you have got to learn the battle that belongs to Jesus also belongs to you because you're in him, in Christ. So if you can hear it, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us fight together. Let us advance forcefully into God's kingdom with violence. Remember what violence is. To darkness, violence is your prayers to God that are, that are fervent prayer. That's a violent act to the kingdom of darkness. And it is what overcomes evil by doing those good things. Till next time, Brother Joe, warring in the spirit.